be a little demo of uh, what's called honey encryption. That's a really smart uh, technique. It's quite processor intensive just now, but uh, I'm sure uh, once the systems get developed, then it has great potential and there's, there's lots of applications of it. So what we find is that uh, when we are uh, when when we've encrypted some data and then an intruder tries some keys, then they typically get an exception when they try an encrypt key. Otherwise, if they if they select a key which is possible, then they'll get a garbled uh, piece of text back. So if we have something like a credit card, then obviously an intruder is looking through all the keys that are possible, either from generated from passphrases or from complete brute force, and then they'll examine the output. When they find an output which is, say, 14 digits long, then they know that they've actually found a possible contender for the key, and then they can crack the whole of the database. So Honey Encryption really tries to get around that problem by actually generating valid outputs for different encryption keys. So the intruder has no way of knowing whether their encryption key is correct or not because all of the uh, outputs are actually possibly valid. Okay, so here's an example here. So we have a credit card. So credit cards are stored uh, typically with uh, with 16 digits for MasterCard with a 5 there. And we get uh, banks of, four banks of 4. Same thing for Visa, but it starts with a 4. Again, four banks of of 4 here. American Express, slightly different, 15 uh, digits uh, and it starts with a 3 and Discover starts with a 6. Okay, so so valid credit cards actually begin with numbers such as these uh, and then we'll get say a random number after that for something that's valid. Okay, so this is a, an example card here. So this card is for uh, an American Express card that we have here. Okay, so for our honey encryption, what we really want is that uh, the intruder tries the wrong key and then out pops something which looks like a valid credit card. So it's very difficult for the intruder to know if that's a correct uh, credit card for that user or not. Okay, so let's try an example. So if we have this credit card and then we encrypt it, so we're going to use this secret key here. And then an intruder comes along and then creates this key uh, as one of the guesses. And that's the guess key. And then what we have is that we have then uh, a seed for the uh, for the table that we're going to create to make sure that every credit card is equally probable across the whole of the frequency range. Okay, so what we do is we set up a table with the valid credit cards. Uh, so uh, this is the size here. And then we make sure that each of the credit cards are equally probable. So the intruder can't tell just by looking at the numbers that are generated uh, what is a valid credit card or not. If we put if we, if they weren't equally probable, then what would happen is the intruder could actually guess that uh, it wasn't one of the credit cards used. Okay, so so there is our ciphertext. So that credit card is stored with the ciphertext here. The intruder then tries this key, and then what we end up with is this value here for a credit card. That's a valid credit card. That's an American Express card there. And it's generated from the table that we actually create of all the valid credit cards. And then we get a pointer to one of those. And then we take the first six digits and then we'll add on uh, a random number at the end so that the intruder can uh, we'll get a, a, different, a different value each time. Okay, so that that uh, that works. Now what we'll do is we'll try the valid key. So in this case, there's the secret key and there's the guess. And then in this case, 
the result that we get is the correct uh, value back. Okay, so that's the way that Honey Encryption actually works. So let's go ahead and we'll try a little example here. It's quite processor intensive, so it might take a little minute to to generate the the example. Little uh, uh, Python program here. So this receives uh, a credit card, uh, and then this is the this is the actual secret key, and then this is the key. That the intruder is actually trying. Okay, so it's going to take a little minute to run because it's got to check all the possible credit cards. So there you go. So it uh, it has a seed for the uh, the correct answer. And then this is the seed that uh, it generates. And we can see here it's generated an incorrect uh, credit card for this key here. If we now try it with, uh, with the correct key, hopefully what we should get back is the correct credit card. And there it is there, that matches perfectly.